I'm Dr. Anupita Vatharkar from Department of Biotechnology. Today we are going to learn the new concept regarding the historic, historical perspective of nutraceuticals. First we have to understand what is mean by nutraceuticals. Nutraceuticals can be defined as any substance that may be considered a food or a part of a food which provides the medical or the health benefits including the prevention and the treatment of disease. The term nutraceutical was coined in 18, 1989 by the Foundation of Innovation in Medicine which is located in the New York, US. Dr. Stephen D. Fellis, he introduced the first term nutraceuticals and he was coined the term by using two main terms that is a nutrition and pharmaceuticals in 1989. Sir, Dr. Stephen D. Fellis is a founder and chairman of a foundation for innovation and medicine. Let's see a piece of history of nutraceutical. Interestingly, during the last 2000 years, from the time of Hippocrates 460 to 377 BC, the dawn of modern medicine, there was a little distinction made between the food and drugs. The practice of medicine itself considered largely of the wise choice of a natural food products. People were believing to follow the natural diet or natural food as a medicine but the extracted medicines were not available. Who was Hippocrates? Hippocrates is a father of medicine. He was the first person to believe that disease were caused naturally and not because for the due to the superstition or the god curse. He was also acknowledged by the disciples of the Pythagoras and for the allying for the philosophy and the medicine. He separated the discipline of medicine from the religion, believing and arguing and proved that disease was a punishment inflicted, uh, disease was not, the, not a punishment inflicted by the God, but rather the product of environmental factors, diet and the living habitat. Now we will talk regarding the traditional system of medicine in India. We all know India, it, it is the country of a biodiversity. India has a rich history of a traditional system of medicines based upon six systems. Yunani, Siddha, Homeopathy, Yoga and Naturopathy. Many general practitioners were still using and following the Ayurveda for the healthy well-being. Here you can see the diagram which is exhibiting the different six paths and which are which have gained the global acceptance and the conver convergence uh, for the traditional medicine. Let's see the history of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is an alternative medicine system with the historical roots in the Indian subcontinent which supports the use of many herbal medicines as well as appropriate diet system to keep the Prakriti well. Prakriti that is var, pitta and kapha in the body under control and to maintain the person healthy. Let's see the history of Ayurveda. In Ayurveda, the evolution of the Indian art of healing and living a healthy life comes from the four Vedas. Rigveda, Samveda, Yajurveda and Atharva Veda. Ayurveda has Upavedas. Atharva Veda is one of the Upaveda or subsection of Ayurveda. The origin of Ayurveda could be roughly traced back to 5000 years old. The Atharva Veda contains not only the magic spells and the of, it offers science but also the Ayurveda that deals with the disease, injuries, fertility, sanity as well as the health. The knowledge we have now is by three surviving texts of Charak, Shushrut and the Vagpat. Ayurveda it is composed of eight branches. Let's see, first that is the Kaya Chikitsa Tantra that is it means internal medicine. Shalakya Tantra means surgery and treatment of head and neck. Shalya Tantra means surgery. Agad Tantra means toxicology. Bhut Vidya means psychiatry. Komura Dritya means pediatrics. Rasayana means science of reju uh, rejuvenation and anti-aging. And Vajikaran that is the science of fertility. Here you can see the image of Charak, 
who was the one of the principal contributors of ayurveda he is a known as the first physician who edited the medical treatise entitled charak sanhita one of the foundational texts of classical indian medicine of ayurveda sushrut he was the father of a surgery he described the surgery under eight different heads for example shaidya excision lekya scarification vaidya that is puncturing isya exploration arya that is extraction vasya that is evacuation and sivya that is the suturing all the basic principles of surgery such as planning precision hemostasis and the perfection you can find in the sushrut sanhita vamgat most influential and classical writers of ayurveda was vamgat he lived in the same prant and he was a disciple of charak he wrote ashtang ridhyam that is concise version of charak or and sushrut writings as well as the scriptures he wrote 7000 sutras that is scriptures in ashtang ridhyam According to the Vagbhat 85% of a disease can be cured without a doctor and only 15% of a disease requires a doctor If you see the history not only in India but ancient Chinese and Egyptian people they also were using herbal medicines for the treatment You can find the Egyptian papyrus writings which are describing the medicinal uses of many plants In the early 19th century scientists began to extract and modify the active ingredients from the plants in the last 20 years in the united states there is a there is an increase in herbal medicine use why because public are dissatisfied with the cost of a prescribed medication chemical drugs but they have gained the interest and they are returning to the natural and organic remedies now let's see what is meant by natural remedy The natural remedy has to contain the substances that are traditionally used for the medicinal purpose. Medical purposes are basically therapeutic or preventive functions which also classifies that the product as a medicinal product. There is a list of traditionally used herb herbs for medicinal purpose. Here you can see some examples. The most used the example is loved example is the turmeric, chili, ginger. eucalyptus lavender mint fenugreek tulsi garlic and nutmeg now what is mean by organic remedies organic remedies means organic drugs they are natural substances which are extracted from the plants as well as the animals some examples of drug that is opium mushroom extractions and marijuana drugs are chemical compounds and they have ability to alter the physiology of an animals in some way so that's why drugs are organic compounds and thus their manufactures is an example of the organic chemistry let's see what is meant by traditional nutraceuticals traditional nutraceuticals are the food in which there is a no any change has made it is simply natural whole food with a new information about their potential health qualities for example vegetable grains fish dairy and meat products which we routinely use for our diet are the traditional nutraceutical they contain natural components that deliver the benefit beyond nutrition such as lycopene in tomatoes omega 3 fatty acids in salmon and saponins in soya now what is the difference between the nutraceuticals and the herbal medicines traditional nutraceuticals they are natural products that they They, they are known to potential health qualities and are not subjected to any chemical alteration while in herbal medicines they are also referred as the alternative medicines or the herbal nutraceuticals are the components which are ex- extracted from the plants or animal to treat illness or maintain a good quality of life thank you